if you don't even know what Data Studio is, which is, <laughs> I doubt it, but what is Data Studio? As Google says, it's a software that helps you make your data beautiful and use it, unlock the power of data, create interactive dashboard. There are some of keywords here, right? Beautiful reports, business decisions, easy and free. And most of them are quite right. The first thing on the same page, these are from landing page of Data Studio. It says connect, right? It says you can easily access a wide variety of data. And that's right. There are built-in and partner connectors which allow us to connect to virtually any data that is accessible over the internet. So this is true and we're going to cover it. Then visualize. Now that we've connected to data, we want to visualize our data. We want to tell our stories, right? Compelling our stories with data, visualization art. Yeah, it's an art in its own form, telling a good story with data. Interactive reports again, right? And web-based reporting tools. So everything is web-based. We can access data to the interface from anywhere. There is no software to install, unlike some other dashboarding tools out there, right? So there is no data studio desktop, for example. Everything is web-based, just like any other tool in Google Marketing Platform. And finally, we can share with individuals, with single person that they need to log in and securely view the report. You can share it with your team. You can share it publicly to everyone. And you can collaborate in real time. So several people can work in a data studio dashboard just like you can work on a Google Sheet or a Google document, right? And also you can embed your reports on any web page. So once you're done, you can share it with someone or you can embed it in an iframe on a web page with some branding, et cetera. So these are the facts and these are the absolute basics. What is Data Studio? Now, what is Data Studio for me? As the way I understand Data Studio, it's a tool that, yes, connects to data connects to data in any shape or form that is accessible over internet or an API or in a marketing tool, in an analytics tool. There are lots of data connectors and you can connect to anything. But something that was missing from the landing page and maybe they didn't update it is collect. Because not only you can connect to data that are accessible over internet, you can also collect data from the viewer of the report. So there are two different data sources available to you. The numbers that are coming from somewhere, from Google Analytics, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, Microsoft Ads, BigQuery, Google Sheet, et cetera. And the numbers that are entered by the viewer of the report. So they view the report, they want to add some number to be incorporated into the calculations on the report. Once you've collected and connected to data, and sometimes you can just connect to data and show it, you don't have to collect something the viewer. But once you do this, it's time for transformation. It is also something that was missing on the landing page. So Data Studio actually allows you to transform data, to work with data, to clean it up, to process it, to model it, to merge it together, to calculate new numbers and new values from existing values before you visualize it. So there is a layer between connecting to data and visualizing it. And that is transformation. We also call it modeling. So whenever I talk about data transformation, data modeling, working with data, shaping data, they're all the same, right? And they all come before visualization, making data ready to be visualized in a way that tells a story, answers a question, informs user of something, a trend or a pattern. Once you visualize it, there is another thing which was briefly covered in the landing page, which is interaction right? You can allow the user to interact with your report. It's not just like a printed piece of paper or a PDF that you visualize data and you print it or fax it or, I don't know, email it or give it to someone just to view a big screen in an office. It is interactive. So the viewer of the report can interact with or they can decide what kind of data do we want to see. They can decide about the date range, about they can slice and dice data right? Filter later. So interactions are a very important part of what Data Studio is capable of. And finally, you can share it securely and with everyone, almost. Now let's take a quicker look and a little bit deeper look at each one of these. Connecting. How can we connect to data with Data Studio? It's through data connectors. We have Google connectors and partner connectors and community connectors. There are some connectors offered by Google, which allows us to connect to Google tools for free, like Google Analytics or Google Ads. There are partner connectors, which allow us to connect to different tools, third party tools like Facebook, like Shopify. Some people created these connectors and published them through Google Data Studio interface for us to use. And they usually pay, some have trials, 
some do not. And community connectors. BigQuery is a Google connector. You can connect to different databases also for free using Google connectors. But if there's an API that is not covered, so you have a tool, the tool is not covered through Google connectors, the tool is not covered through any partner connector that you can find, but it has a working, properly working, documented API for you to connect to and extract data from. You can have someone hire a developer or someone on your team to create a custom, a community connector for Data Studio. So in this sense, Data Studio is extendable, right? It's, you can extend the capabilities of connecting. If there's data that you cannot connect to, you can build your own connector. Collecting data. What is the mechanism of collecting data? They're called controls and parameters. You can use parameters in your report and attach them to things like that we call controls. We'll show them to you like check boxes, like input boxes, search boxes, sliders, drop down menus, or data range selectors. These are the ways that the user can communicate their preference to us, the report editor, that what kind of data do we want to, do they want to see on the report itself. Once we connect it and collect it, it's time for transformation. We are we have different ways of transforming data in data studio. We can aggregate numbers, we can perform the mathematical calculations like an additions, dividing, multiplying, etc. We can blend data together, which we will see. We can get data from different sources, blend them together, create a new source, and then perform calculations in a blended data source, which is really powerful, flexible, and allows us to do more things with data studio. We can group and categorize data. So we have different countries, different departments. We want to group them together, just like channel grouping in Google Analytics or labeling different kind of campaigns, creating a group of campaigns in Google Ads. We can also do that in Data Studio. And finally, processing with functions. So we have text, we have things that can work with text, clean up text, process text, and also work with numbers as well. So aggregation, blending, grouping, categorizing, and processing. These are the type of transformation we can do in Data Studio. Once we transform data, it's ready for visualization, right? There are different visualization, different charts provided by Google. And also it's possible for you or anyone else who you know, knows how to develop custom visualizations with JavaScript and HTML and CSS to create custom visualizations if they cannot find or if you cannot find the type of visualization that you want in data history, right? So if it's covered, then you can use them built-in visualizations if it's not you can invest in creating. Once you visualize it, you can add interaction, the date control, the filter control, the sliders, chart interactions, and finally links and report navigation. These are all the ways that a viewer can interact with your report. They can go from page to page, they can adjust the date ranges, filter data to see only a subset of data and so on. And once you're done, you can share it. You can share it with specific people. So just enter the emails of the people you want to be able to look at your report, just like a Google Doc, just like a Google Sheet. You can do that. You can share a link to, so anyone with that link could view your report, right? And you can also make it public, just like a website. So even Google can crawl that, right? People can find it even if they do not have the link. And also you can schedule emails, a PDF version of the report to be emailed on a schedule to a specific people.